Today, I would like to share one of our latest articles. It's about zinc side effects and interactions. You can find the detailed article on mywebpharmacist.com and there's a link below so that you can go straight to this article. So zinc has come to the limelight um, in recent times because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, a lot of publishers and um, healthcare providers have talked about zinc being um, very useful in stop replication of coronaviruses. So this study had been done even long before this COVID-19 pandemic because there are other coronaviruses like the one that causes the common flu. So um, now they've tried it and it seems as if it's helping to improve um, the condition of very ill patients. So hopefully this is going to be something that um, we're going to get some more clinical trials on. So, but the reason we made this article is because, you know, once people see an article online or see something online, they rush to the pharmacy, buy whatever it is and start taking. So I just wanted to point out some things about zinc so that um, you don't just go off and start consuming as much zinc as you want. Now, um, here we see that um, you could click this link. If you go to the website, you could click this link and it will take you to the health, the health office. It's the National Institutes of Health Offices of the, Di sorry, National Institute of Health. And it's the Office of the Dietary Supplements under the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. And there's a link there that gives you a detailed fact sheet about zinc. But I'm going to just point out the important things from this article. Um, normally, you shouldn't take zinc um, unless you have a deficiency in zinc. Um, usually, you have enough zinc from your diet. However, um, some people might have deficiency because they don't take a healthy diet and they might need some supplements. Most supplements in the United States that have mineral and multivitamin combinations, you know, most of them have the amount of zinc you need daily. You know, zinc is not stored in the body. You have to take it daily. So most of the formulations have enough zinc. Um, now, the main purpose of this article is just to let you know what are the side effects. Now, usually if you take zinc in the um, correct dose, you shouldn't have any serious side effects. But as it starts to accumulate depending on your health condition, you might have side effects like abdominal pain, dyspepsia, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, gastric irritation, irritability, headache, and lethargy. It means you feel tired. Mode. Now, so you should avoid high doses of zinc because this makes the side effects worse. Now, how could you have high doses of zinc? Imagine you have, you buy um, a product that has just zinc and then you're also taking your multivitamin mineral tablets that have zinc also you end up taking more zinc than you need. So that's why you should watch out for how much you take because these products also have to be excreted. And if you have um, some organ damage, it might slow down the excretion of this um, element, which is zinc. So you have to watch out for what you are taking. For a caution, um, it should not be taken in patients, not that it should not be taken, but there's a caution for patients with renal failure because there is the tendency 
or the zinc to accumulate. Patients who are pregnant, you should be the healthcare provider should be careful um, prescribing zinc because it crosses the placental barrier, and so that means it will get to the fetus. Breastfeeding mothers too, if you take zinc, it's going to um, come out in the breast milk. So that means your baby will also be getting part of the zinc. Um, for interactions, there are a few interactions. Zinc interacts with a few things. For example, um, iron. If you're on a large dose of iron supplements, um, it might decrease the absorption of the zinc. Um, so if you're going to be taking iron, it should be taken away from the time you take your zinc. So that means if, because uh, we want, to, if you're going to be absorbing zinc from your diet, you don't want the iron supplements to stop that. So take the iron supplements at probably between meals, although there are some times when you want to take iron with meals, but um, I just want you to let, I want to let you know that it's going to abs um, affect your um, zinc absorption. Also, um, zinc, if you take a lot of zinc, it might inhibit um, the absorption of copper from your diet, and that might lead to um, anemia, you know, so it leads to anemia. Um, zinc interacts with the quinolone antibiotics like um, ciprofloxacin and the tetracycline antibiotics. And um, they, they interact and they affect the absorption of both the antibiotic and the zinc. So it's not um, good to take zinc when you're on these antibiotics. So if you have to take the um, two, make sure you take the antibiotic at least two hours before or four to six hours after taking zinc or zinc supplement. Um, zinc also interacts with penicillamine. It's not a really common medication, but for those who are taking penicillamine, um, zinc interacts with that too. It also interacts with diuretics, which are very common um, drugs for hypertension. So if you're on clothalidone hydrochlorothiazide, um, it will increase the excretion of zinc. So it, you'll be passing out more zinc than you should. So that will cause a deficiency in your zinc um, status. So um, in conclusion, um, I just wanted you to know that you can get zinc from your food. So it doesn't always have to be through supplements, although we know that most of our food doesn't contain the right amount of um, things, nutrients they should. But still, you can get zinc from whole grains, milk products, oysters, red meat, poultry, baked beans, chickpeas, and nuts, such as cashews and almonds. So I um, just hope you gained something from this. Um, video and please stay safe. Thank you.